Hello, and today we are going to be talking about finding shaded regions. Now, you've already seen this probably about two or three days ago, um, dealing it with it when we were dealing with monomials. But since we have learned binomials, we figured we would give you a little bit of a refresher. So first, I'm going to be finding the area of the shaded region, and it helps us to define the shaded region first. So this shaded region is the area of a circle minus the area of the square. So I'm going to set it up as pi r squared minus my side length squared. And I know my radius here is 3x cubed, so it's pi times the quantity 3x cubed, that whole thing squared, minus the binomial uh, 4x minus 6, that quantity squared. So 3 squared gives me 9, so I have 9 pi. And x cubed squared gives me x to the 6. From there, I need to expand 4x minus 6 to make it 4x minus 6 times 4x minus 6. And then it's just simple double distribution. So I have 9 pi x to the 6 minus the quantity. 4x times 4x is 16x squared. 4x minus 6 gives me negative 24x. Negative 6 minus 4x gives me negative 24x. And then negative 6 times negative 6 gives me a positive 36. From here, I combine my like terms, and that gives me 16x squared minus 48x plus 36. And all of that is subtracted from 9 pi x to the 6. And now I just need to distribute my negative. So 9 pi x to the 6, that becomes a negative 16x squared, a positive 48x and then a negative 36. From here I realize that there's no GCF or anything I can factor out, uh, nothing I can combine either, so this is my final answer. All right, let's move on to a word problem. So the height of the paper is thrice the width. So first, again, if I, anytime I see a word problem, we should probably draw it. So the height of the paper is three times the width. So h equals 3w, or, uh, and I also should say that w equals my width. Okay, from there it says that I want a 3 inch border around each side. So on the top, bottom, left and right, I'm going to have a 3 inch border. Now, in terms of the shaded region, it says it wants the area of just the border alone. So let's look at what it's talking about when it says shaded region. So in terms of shaded region, it's talking about this section right here. This is the border. And I know it's not to scale, but I'm also a giant, so drawing really tiny things is not my forte. So you get, cut me a little slack. But that's the area I'm trying to find. Now, the first thing I need to do here, then, is to write the expression for that height and width, because that's obviously going to be different than the inside paper. So first, let's talk about the width. Now, I have added 3 on either side here. So this is 3 plus that w plus 3. So my width here is really w plus 6, because I've added 3 to either side. And if it were 4 on either side, 4 inches, then it would be w plus 8. Really, I'm just adding that border twice. And the same thing happens when I'm talking about the height. So the height is 3 plus 3w plus 3, or 3w plus 6, equals the height. So to find the area of any rectangle, I need to do my width, or my length, times my height. And it doesn't matter if I do w plus 6 times 3w plus 6, or 3w plus 6 times that quantity w plus 6. It doesn't really matter. And regardless, I'm going to be subtracting 3 w times w, which is my interior part, from that whole piece of paper. Because this will just give me just the border. So then I distribute 3w squared plus 6 times w is 6w plus uh, 6 times 3w is 18w. 6 times 6 is 36 minus 3w squared. And now I just have to combine my like terms. Well, we notice that the 3w squared cancels out with that negative 3w squared, 
So it's just 6w plus 18, which is 24w plus 36. And that's it. That's as far as I can go. In terms of if it ever asks you for factored form, you would just have to factor out the GCF, which in this case is 12. So it would be 12 times the quantity 2w plus 3. Okay, but in terms of variable expression, that is the correct answer. All right, let's try one more before I give you some practice. So what is the area of the shaded region? And really, if we're talking about the shaded region here, it's that bigger square minus the smaller square. And I know this might look a little bit intimidating because now we have two variables, but really it's not that bad. So my outside square has the dimensions of 6w plus 2 and my inside square has the dimensions of 4x minus 3y. And I know that I, the area of a square is side length squared, so all, that's all I'm doing. I'm squaring the side length. Now here I'm going to expand it. Uh, you may have learned about the special properties we have when we have a binomial squared, and you might be able to do that without having to expand it. However, especially starting out, we really want you to still expand here. Okay, so now I just have to FOIL. 6x times 6x is 36x squared. 6x times 2y is a positive 12xy. 2y plus 6x, uh, or times 6x gives me a 12xy again. And 2y plus 2y is 4y squared. So I'm going to simplify that before I start FOILing the other one just because I get a little cramped on space. So 36x squared plus 24xy plus 4y squared. And then I'm going to subtract that entire quantity uh, foiled out as well. So let me get a different marker for that. Okay, so 4x times 4x gives me 16x squared. 4x times a negative 3y gives me a negative 12xy. I get another negative 12xy, and then a positive 9y squared. So, simplifying that down will give me this as I write it out 16x squared minus 24xy plus 9y squared. The next step I have to do is make sure I distribute that negative, giving me a negative 16x squared plus 24xy minus 9y squared, and I drop down that entire left side. If you want to do vertical subtraction here, feel free to do that. It might make more sense for you. I'm just going to do it horizontally. So I combine my like terms. 36x squared minus 16x squared gives me 20x squared. I have 24xy plus 24xy, which that's going to give me 48xy. And then negative four, or a positive 4y squared minus 9y squared gives me a negative 5y squared. And this is the correct order because remember, x's have to go before y's, and my x squares come before my x's. So that is my final answer. All right, I would like you guys to try these two problems out. Pause the video here. Uh, after you come back, I'm going to reveal it and work through some of the problems. Okay, so take a second, pause, and solve. Okay, so for the first one, I got 16 pi x to the 6th minus 4x to the 4th plus 12x cubed minus 9x squared. And for the second one, I got 30h plus 100. If you got both of those right, uh, feel free to stop watching the video and move on to do other things with your life. If not, stick around for the explanation. So for this first one, really all I'm doing again is that area of the circle minus the uh, square. So I do pi times 4x cubed squared minus the quantity 2x squared minus 3x, that entire quantity squared, because it's a square, so it's just side length squared. That gives me 16 pi x to the 6 minus 2x squared minus 3x times the quantity 2x squared minus 3x. So foiling that out gives me 4x to the 4th 
minus 6x squared, oh sorry, 6x cubed, minus 6x cubed, plus 9x squared. But I have to remember that that is all in parentheses because I'm subtracting that from that area of the circle, which is 16 pi x to the 6. So now I need to combine my like terms. That's negative 12x to the 3rd. And I just distribute that negative. So it's 16 pi x to the 6th uh, minus 4x to the 4th plus now, right, because that's a negative 12 before, so plus 12x to the 3rd and minus 9x squared. And that would be my final answer. If I could factor anything out of here, the most I could factor out is x squared. But again, you will be learning that soon. So don't worry if you don't get what I'm saying there. All right. So let us move on to the next problem. For the paper problem, you always, always, always want to try to draw that out. So the first thing I know is it says that the width of the paper is twice the height. So the width the width equals 2h, where h equals the height. And I know that I have a 5-inch border for the paper. So here is my paper. This is h. This is 2h. And I know my drawing is not drawn to scale, but again, we'll be all right here. So I have a 5-inch border all the way around. So this is my illustrious piece of paper. Truly magnificent. From there, I need to write my expression. So first, I need to find those side lengths, though. So my new side length, if this is 5 plus 2h plus 5, that means that my new width really is 2h plus 10, which is, again, just double the border. And now, for my height, it's 5 plus h plus 5. which gives me it to have a height of h that should be a that should be a 5 there all right there you go h plus 10 and again notice how these both have a plus 10 to them so i do my shaded area or just the border which is that outside rectangle which is 2h plus 10 times h plus 10 minus that inner rectangle or 2h times h then I just FOIL. So 2h squared plus 20h plus 10h plus 100 minus 2h squared. And notice again, you'll see my uh, quadratic, right? My h squared, before in the last problem it was x squared, but both of those cancel out. And I can simplify this down to just 30h squared plus 100. And that's it. Those are the two problems worked out. Uh, if you have any questions, please bring them to any of us, and we will do the best we can answering them. Thank you for watching, and as always, hope you took all your notes. Bye-bye.